What's going on everybody? It's your boy Grim here from Outside MTG. And today, kicking the video off with a special congratulations to the lucky subscriber who was able to walk away with a Jace's signature spellbook yesterday when we hit our 50 sub uh, goal. And if we can hit 100 before today is up, we're going to give a second one away and we're not very far from it. If you want your chance to win one, all you've got to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a like, and if we make it, I'll announce a winner tomorrow. But today we're going to be playing some standard, and in this post-ban world, we're going to look at a deck that doesn't need a companion, doesn't want a companion, and is actually pretty fast. We're going to play some Naya Tokens. It's also a borderline Super Friends deck with six unique Planeswalkers and a seventh one in the sideboard. Because, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, being able to plus one Sarkin for lethal, not a bad thing, and we can just make a million dudes early to protect him. And a number of our planeswalkers also make tokens. We've got Luca here. They may have taken Agent of Treachery from us, but it's not the only big mana creature out there worth cheating into play. So if we get rid of any of our tokens or Stone Coil Serpent, it'll just immediately turn into an Inrace Forerunner. And with cards like March of the Multitudes and all these other token producers, we can put a ton of power into play very quickly. So, with that being said, let's go out here, let's jump into some videos. Let's run some folks down. This list is actually kind of cool. I love token decks, so maybe I'm a little partial here. Uh, it's not amazing. Okay, we'll take it. We'll throw the Luca back for now, I think. I right, let's ditch the Elspeth. Get this raise the alarm down next turn. Well, on our opponent's turn. Or we could just get it for one damage now. Got little pretty full art tokens. And we'll drop in a temple. Maybe looking to cast this march pretty soon. Go swinging. Especially if we can hit the fifth land drop. This march will be able to dump in enough bodies. We should be able to just get it done with Luca and a pig. Hmm. I think we're just gonna bet on we can get there. That we will in fact draw the fifth land next turn. And we're gonna omen and then march post omen. Opponent wants to death sprout us, eh? Well, let's go ahead and get this down so we can get the maximum amount. We'll be able to, what, do this for three? Four? Yeah. Get some more dudes into play. Let's draw this fifth land and get them. Look at that. Like a professional. Can you say good game, opponent? I can. Here's our boy Luca. Let's show the opponent it's not just for agent of treachery anymore. Introduce him to the big pig. You can all become stronger. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Wins out of nowhere. Agent might be gone, but Luke is not done. You know, I've thought about picking this one up a couple of times. Hmm. No green source. But I kind of like where the hand's going if our opponent's not too terribly fast. I guess Luris does suggest cycling, however. We probably need to be a little bit quicker than that. We'll take it. Throw that guy on the bottom. Can friendship into an omen. Go marching. March the following turn. Ooh, not cycling. Maybe some black-white sack of some kind. The worst comes to worst, this can find the land drop for us later, but we're going to get aggressive, get bodies into play now, and get at them. 
every once in a while you'll have enough tokens in play to just double march and it feels awesome oh let me eyeball on my dinosaur dog and pack up okay miss the land ooh we'll take another white source here hang out for the time being got these omens to kind of stack the board up a little what was that no attack send it back to the opponent oof one one death toucher sure don't like four four dragons yep gonna get dead weighted here again now the question is can we put them out faster than the opponent can take them deal We can land a green source off the top, which we did not. Ooh. All right, we'll hang back for now. Could have got a green source off the top. We might have considered playing the omen and then marching for a larger march the next turn. But at this rate, we may struggle to stay ahead missing land drops. We'll take the hit. Right, let's get another omen down. Hmm. You know what? I've got a plan. <laughs> Whenever our opponent undoubtedly goes to dead weight us next turn, we're going to march. And then I think we're just going to march off of that march, actually. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to march for four. We're still going to need the green source available to pay the green in the march's cost. This isn't the second one's not gonna get us just a ton of dudes either. But if we can get this fifth land down, Luca plus a pig will do just a billion damage, plus these guys will all be three three life linkers. That'll have our life total looking pretty good as well. Did not hit the land. How disappointing. The question is, do we want to raise the alarm to keep putting more guys in play or just scry for the land? I think we may end up just scrying for the land here. Which means it'll be on top and we'll immediately regret it. Opponent thinking their life total safe. It most certainly is not. Uh oh. Want to get in the grasp on? Probably eat a dead weight here as well. Yep. All right, let's get our scry on. Well, the land would not have been on top. It's got some kind of instant speed interaction, but even if they can kill our pig, we'll still get the ETB. So, it should be okay. Let's get rid of one of these guys that doesn't have lifelink. And say hi to the big pig. How you feel, opponent? You feeling good? They have vigilance. We can go get us another pig again next turn. And they all have trample. <laughs> there won't be a next turn? Oh, there is still a next turn. Boo. Boo, opponent. That's okay. 
They're going to need something really good to stay in this game. Okay. We'll get him another vampire of the dire moon. Oh, scorpion. Okay. Sure, I suppose my guys will be one ones. So in his mind, everything's going to be okay. Probably see a dead weight on another life linker here. Unless opponent wants to ghost form their Luris back up, which we would certainly appreciate. Oh, eyeball on the Luca. You got a murderous rider opponent. Oh no, they can't because of Luris. Hmm. Yeah, not a ton of great answers for Planeswalkers at that low of a cost, but they do exist. That was not the right move. Alright, well, Luca, let's find another big pig. Yep, there's two of them, opponent. We are not done yet. Yeah, that's it. All these guys have trample as well. It gives to the opponent for being able to survive the first pig, though. No small task. Good game, opponent. Alright. See, I don't have red mana, but... This hand's not just terrible. We have a play on one, play on two. We've got the Luka, we've got the March. We'll give it a shot. Flower, get us a white source. And send it back to the opponent. Starfield Mystic, huh? Interesting. Okay, that's enough Lucas. Never thought I'd have to say that. Just needed to just kind of rip red sources forever and we'll be happy. Okay. A one man of birth, I'm about it. Double Mystic. Okay, found a red source. Perfect. We could march for three next turn, or out on our opponent's turn. That would let Luca plus a pig do a lot of damage if we could rip the red source off the top. I think we're gonna do it too. I think we're just gonna go for the early march. <clears throat> Funny enough, if opponent has Doom Foretold, we just have nothing to sack to it as it's non-token, non-land. Okay. Sounds good. Let's march for three. Let's pull this red source off the top. Ugh. That is the opposite of a red source. No tax. Probably got a divine visitation in our future if I had to guess. Look at all this diversity. We don't discriminate. We take all kinds of tokens. I guess they're mostly soldiers, but hey, what are you gonna do? Stung. Really need this red source off the top. Oh no. And we found it even worse. Well, we'll get us a dragon. No sword can pierce me hold. We can actually just play another Sarkin next turn and get just another dragon. 
Because we could get Luca down, but it wouldn't do a ton. You know what, let's plus one. See if our opponent is interested at all in trading for our Sarkin. They are. Perfect. And let's play another one. Another cool thing is if we plus one with Sarkin first, the pig also pumps up our flying planeswalker. Everything will be fine if we stand. True friends always stand by your side. Do you need to address that Ajani as soon as possible? They are getting dangerously close to that life total they need. We're gonna Luca. I'm not sure I actually want to do anything with him just yet. I hate to give a dragon that. And again. Let's see. Go ahead and plus. Let's send one of those dragons on their way as bad as it feels. And let's just go for the opponent's face. Big pig super friends. Okay. What are we conquering, opponent? Pig is not a bad call. Got one more in the deck, though. As long as we don't top deck it, we'll be fine. A pure soul can inspire others. These one ones can attack because Sarkin will just destroy them. With the help of this dragon. So opponent's kind of stuck in just a holding pattern right now. Don't do it, opponent. Look, see this? See this? Read Sarkin. Read Sarkin. There you go. Well. You. Let's go get us another piggy. Get you some, opponent. Our big pig super friends dominating the skies. Uh, no green sources, but we do have the play on two, and I just assume we'll find the other land. We're going to risk it. We don't currently need a green source for a little while anyway. Drop our castle in play and say go. Hold up this raise the alarm. Hopefully hit another land. Grixis. Oh, they might be trying to peek at our hand here in a minute. Let's raise the alarm. Hey, starting to get a little worried we might not find the land for a minute. Let's get in for two. Mm, I don't think we're super into the Tibble. We'll just play an Omen of the Sun. Roxa, sure. We'll get you, Tibble. Oh, my God, does sun. Too bad we didn't have the fourth land there. Might just get in with some old boring token beats at this rate. Again, we also might get a ritual to sit right here, too, so we'll see how it goes. We can draw the fourth land off the top, though. We'll be right back up to four bodies. Okay. Hmm. You know, if we just show them two lands, they're gonna take the face down card. 
And if we just show them Ashiok, I think they're going to take it. But what if we showed them Ashiok plus land? What's the face down card? It could be anything. It could even be a boat. An opponent took the bait. That's how you win the mind game, friends. Still couldn't hit that extra land, though. We're gonna go in swinging. Love when you can get that. Opponent wanted Watery Grave more than Ashiok and a Temple. We just cannot hit this fourth land drop. Well, we're gonna send the team again. We'll probably just scry and dig for some lands. If we could just have another red source here, this castle Embrith would just do a ton of damage. Sure, gained a little bit of life. Sounds good. Seriously, we just want a red source. We can use this Castle Embrith and just get in for a ton of damage. I'm going with the plus option. Sounds good. Yeah, let's cry for this red source and tell our opponent good game, right? Show me red source. That will do. I'm going to grab two blocks, we'll activate the castle, get in for six. Yep, opponent sees it. Oof. Opponent fluked a pig. I love getting to play the head game now. Okay. <laughs> Let's go out with a bang. Hey, we finally found a Johnny. That's something, I suppose. And just doesn't really do a ton. We're on the draw, though. Let's, let's see what we can get. We have quite a, we have enough two drops. I'm sure we can find one. I don't know. What would you like, opponent? A lot of choices there. Find that. I'll leave. Hmm. All right, let's we'll send it back. Use this to fetch a white source, undoubtedly. My opponent missing the land drop. That's good for us. Oh, plus one diamond. Blow the mana for nothing. Let's click on our baby Jace over here. Can you so happy? Ooh, he is less happy. I'm sorry, my puppet just is far more entertaining than my opponent is right now. You have to excuse me. Uh oh. Got the fifth land. Let's make some dudes. Let's make some mana. We might just do a really bad march into lethal. I think that's actually going to be our game plan here. I suppose the march won't be too bad. Ooh, it's our boy Kudro. We're friends with Kudro. So. Start by plusing our boy Dimer here. We're not going to actually use his mana on the march though. We want the march to be a surprise. I guess we could use the flower portion of this, however. And no attacks. Let's see what you got. You can march for six. 
Wow, did not expect Shatter to sky out of a deck with Kudro though. Opponent over here with the surprises. That's an omen of the sun. Bum 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 bum. Plus one. Get us a green mana. Get us an Ajani. You realize I do not spend. I think we're gonna minus two so we can have Elspeth make some guys for us as well. Let's do that. We can and we'll pass the turn. We get to untap with our board intact. We are not. <laughs> Man, at this rate, we might just omen of the sun and just start getting in for those beats now. Hmm. Not bad. Add a red. Let's get these guys out there. Let's get our boy Luca down. We got this poor little fella over here. He doesn't have haste, so we'll send him on his way since everyone else does. Hook him up with some counters. The smash. Yeah. Opponent doesn't want it. This deck is a little soft to board wipes, but as you can see, it can bounce back. But hey, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in today. And man, I'm kind of surprised at the amount of support the channel's gotten already. I'm sort of humbled by it, so thanks everybody for liking, subscribing, checking out the videos. I just want to help build a nice little community here, help some folks get better at magic, play some fun lists. But hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.